Number 38, a 40 kg skier skis directly down a frictionless slope angle at 10 degrees to the horizontal. Assume the skier moves in the negative direction of an x-axis along the slope. A wind force the component fx. A wind force with component fx acts on the skier. What is fx if the magnitude of the skier's velocity is constant, increasing at a rate of 1 meter per square second and increasing at a rate of 2 meters per square second? So let's take that this is our slope over here. Okay, so we know that this angle over here is 10 degrees. We also know that our coordinate system is like this. This is x and this is y. And let us draw our skier. So our skier is just a box because it's simpler this way. Okay, so let's draw uh, our free body diagram here. And we have only three forces acting on the skier. We have the force of gravity, which we are going to call it Fg. We also have the normal force, let's call it Fn. And we have the force of the wind that we don't know if it is it points downwards or upwards. We don't know. Okay, so let's call it just FW, but it, it could point upwards or downwards. Okay, so the second thing that we have to do is to decompose the force of gravity here because it points in the x and the y direction at the same time. So we are taking the y component over here, so fgy and fgx, fgx. We know that this angle is the same as this angle over here, it's always the same. This angle is always the, the same angle as this one over here, so this is 10 degrees. So we can write fgx equal to fg times the sine, sorry the sine of the angle and we can write that fgy is equal to fg times the cosine of the angle okay so now we can just write newton's second law for the x component and the y component i'm go going to use only the x component because that's the only one that we are going to need and i'm going to write Newton's second law, which is the sum of the forces equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, for the x component, we have two different forces. That's it, only two different forces. We have Fw plus Fgx, not minus, plus Fgx, this force over here. And this is equal to mass times the acceleration in the x component. So this is the only equation that we are going to use. And so and we have to we have different accelerations and then we have to find the force of the wind that it calls it fx. So fx is equal to fw in this solution over here. Okay, so for letter A the velocity is constant, so the acceleration is zero. So we know that Fw or Fx plus Fgx is equal to zero. So Fw, the force of the wind, would be minus Fg times the sine of the angle. And we know that Fg is equal to mass times the acceleration of gravity times the sine of the angle. So in this case, let's replace the letters by the numbers. The mass is 40, the gra gravity is 9.8 times the sine of 10 degrees. So if you do this calculation over here, you would find minus 68 newtons. This minus sign here tells us that the wind, that the, this force points upwards because upwards is the negative x direction. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we know that the acceleration is increasing at a rate of one meters per square second. Okay, so now we have that Fw plus Fgx is equal to mass times one. Okay, so Fw is equal to mass times one minus 
f de x. So, fw is equal to 40 minus 40 times 9.8 times the sine of 10 degrees. And this gives us, let's see, it gives us minus 28 newtons. So, the force points upwards as well. So, for letter C, now the acceleration is different. So, in this case, we know that the force of the wind is equal to mass times the acceleration. So, this is equal to 2 times 40 minus 40 times 9.8 times the sine of 10 degrees. And this gives us 12 newtons plus 12 newtons. So the, the wind points, the force of the wind points downhill. So that's the answer of this exercise.